Laffy said, can I ask you a bit of an awkward question? What kind of demon would you say Velvet is? Uh, well... Oh, don't worry. I'm not trying to find a vulnerability or anything. I'm only asking out of curiosity. It's not that I doubt you, Eleanor. I just don't know much about her myself. You fought against her, haven't you? She consumes her enemies with her left hand and claims their power. She's a demon like absolutely no other. Plunk just about any demon down in front of her, and I bet she could devour it in a single gulp. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty much true. Sometimes demons that she doesn't entirely devour turn human again, but... What? You've seen demons turn back into humans? Is it that big of a deal? Of course it is! Everyone knows that once you catch demon blight, that's it. There's no turning back. Although, I did see it happen with the High Priest Gideon. I wonder if there's some kind of connection. Not that it matters if he turned back. Demon or not, he's dead either way. Whatever it is, it's of no concern to a pirate. If I were you, I wouldn't worry about what's normal. If things were normal, we wouldn't have found each other. You have a point. Sorry I couldn't help, Eleanor. No, you didn't do anything wrong. But I need to keep digging until I find out more about the kind of demon Velvet is. Incredible! A new species is usually named after the person who discovered it. The Lafayette rhinoceros beetle, then? Rhinoceros beetle? Whoa, now, that's a stag beetle if I ever saw one. No. Those things may look like pincers, but they're actually horns. A three-horned beetle will cause quite a stir in the bug community. Hey, I know pincers when I see them, and those were some mighty pincers. The Lafayette stag beetle has a better ring to it, right? What part of that sounds better? The whole thing. Stag beetles are the strongest, after all. I can't let that go unchallenged. The rhinoceros is the king of beetledom. Beetledom? More like beetledum. Huh? That doesn't help your case at all. Rokoro. Aizen. I... I feel a dangerous storm brewing. The rhino is a one-trick pony with its horn, but a stag can cut its opponents in half. Its weapons can be used in any situation. The stag is a true swordsman. That's petty trickery. The only beetle with the raw muscle to decide its own fate is the rhino. But they only live for a year. The stag can survive through the winter. They live hard and die young. Is the beauty of such a life lost on you? Why is it that boys get so excited when they talk about bugs? Minoceros, stag, or butterfly. It's all no matter to me. They all look like cockroaches. They're totally different! So, what will you name it? Um, I think Rhino Stagros for now. You think there's any chance that Wanted Moloch would launch an attack here? His target's probably Loringen, but stay sharp just in case. He might try to break open the bug cage as a diversion. Wanted Moloch? Loringen? Hmm. First that demon Rex Helavis, and then Eleanor betrays us? We're never gonna catch a break. Quit whining. Cleaning up messes is our job. Hmm. 
Looks like our Abbey buddies are up to something. And the bug cage. That barrier, I assume? If so, it won't be long before they find out we broke in. Then we should make our exit while we can. Time to spar today. Got a date lined up. That artifact you've got belongs to Ifreed. Why do you have it? Just picked it up off the ground somewhere. Don't screw with me, tough guy. I have ways of making you talk. Ha! <laughs> I wonder how much pain gets you to open up. You're the one about to be tested. It's not up to you how this goes. If I want to talk, we'll talk. And if I want to fight, We'll fight. What are you? I'd play more, but I don't want to keep old Pointy Beard waiting. We'll chat some more later with our fists. Wait! Aizen! We need to get the flowers to everyone on the ship! You can handle it! But you're. <sighs> Let's head back, Laffy said. All right. Zavid was holding? What do you think that was? From the sound of it, it seemed to belong to Ifrit. I've never seen any object or art quite like it. Maybe it's that relic Ifrit brought back from a continent across the sea. An art from another continent. Do you think Aizen will be alright? That Moloch seemed to know what he was doing. I'd rather we just stayed out of his way, but... First the throne, and now here. What is Zavid after, anyway? He was probably just making up that date business. But still, old pointy beard? Just like Eifried. When I was talking with Benwick, he said Eifried had a pointy beard. You don't say. 
Then I bet Zavid is that wanted Moloch the Abbey's looking for. Yeah, he must be aware they're after him. And then he baited Aizen into following him, using something that belonged to Eifried. And I'm pretty sure Aizen knew that, but he went after him all the same. Ugh, this can only go well, I'm sure. Is Aizen in trouble? It doesn't matter either way, if his Corsair Scourge goes untreated. For now, let's get back to the ship. anymore. I can't deal with life in this village. There you go, with the whining again. Those two, they seem to be rather upset. Best stay out of it! They're going at it, hammer and tongs! The phrase is hammer and tongs. I'm not whining. It's been ten years and the village is no better off than when we started. Every year it gets colder, and every year our harvest gets worse, and the risk of demon blight hasn't gone away. Your point? Compared to other regions, Westgand has fewer cases of demon blight. Other areas are suffering worse from the cold and the demons. I'd say we're better off here than anywhere else. You're saying we're lucky that all we have to worry about is cultivating this inhospitable land? Don't be so impatient. We'll see results. Westgand has incredible potential. If we keep working this land, eventually it will become a prosperous place. Maybe not now. But in a hundred years or a thousand, our descendants will have joy and plenty. That's enough for me. There you go again. Who cares about ancestors? I'm talking about... Good man, your words have moved me. As an exorcist, I promise to work my hardest to end the demon blight and help people like you find security. Oh, thank you for your kind words, young exorcist. Then I have a request. How about you start helping by marrying this fool son of mine? What? Ever since his lover gave him the slip, he's been whining like this non-stop. I'm very sorry, but that wasn't exactly what I had in mind. to see one this close to the sea. Hey, I thought of a poem! 
day at Port Renied, a frog jumps into the void. The sound of the sea. Mogilu? What was that? Just a little poem that popped into my head. My inspiration came from pondering the terror a frog would feel if it unwittingly leapt into the salty ocean. That... that's... I don't get it at all. I got another one! Skinny little frog, Mogilu is on your side. Do not give up hope. Um... I guess that one is about... rooting for a frog? That's right. I once bet a fortune on a game of chance involving frogs. That was my inspiration for this one. What do you think? Poetic, isn't it? I think you have a gambling problem. So, did this skinny frog win? Nope. I lost my entire bet. I think we can call that poetic justice. We've brought back your Salatomas. Drink up. You've saved us! But where's the first mate? We bumped into some wannabe tough guy Moloch and he just took off after him. What? That must have been Zavid! Why didn't you guys follow him? And leave you all with the Corsair Scourge? Yes! Aizen's the one in danger here. Is it because the Abbey is after Zavid? So you even knew about it? I heard the details from a merchant who deals with the Abbey. Some big-shot exorcist named Melchior has set up a trap for Zavid and Loringen. If Aizen gets caught up in that, he might not make it out alive. So now there's Melchior to worry about. Why is Lord Melchior assuming direct command to capture Zavid? Wait, that's not important. What matters is I can turn Lafayette's head over to him and finally return to the Abbey. Melchior is a legate. A powerful enemy, trap or no. Ugh, you guys are useless! Well, fine. If you're not going to go help him, we will. What makes you think you're capable of being any help? Would you let an ally get slaughtered just because you were scared? What? We want to save him. Maybe we'll lose. It still won't stop us. We are the ones who decide our fates. Only us. That's just the creed of Eifried's pirates. Uh... <sighs> You're a real hothead, you know that? Nobody said anything about not helping Aizen. Huh? You all stay here, take your medicine like good little boys, and be ready to welcome back your first mate and captain. The captain? Why else would Aizen knowingly barge into a trap, if not to save Eifried? Oh, <laughs> of course! Leave the ship and crew to me! Here, this one's for you. Those pirates haven't a lick of sense in them. They don't let reason dictate who they protect. <sighs> if you say so, demon. <laughs> 
Now, about where Aizen's headed. Those exorcists were talking about some place called Loringen. Yes. It's a tower in the northern part of Westgand where the exorcists train. Lines up with what Benwick told us. That must be the place. There must be a lot of exorcists. Hang in there, Aizen. That'll take more than basic exorcists to do him in. We ought to pity any poor exorcists who meet the Reaper. Right! Let's work together and find him! Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. your second experience with the Corsair Scourge? No, I had it for a different reason. In the Abbey, it's tradition for initiates to drink Solitoma as part of their welcoming festivities. Sounds like hazing to me. When everyone shares the same experience, drinking something so shockingly revolting, our bonds are strengthened. It's a good thing. If you say so. I really did believe I'd never have to taste it again. To be blunt, I hate it. You're lucky you think it tastes so terrible. That means you also know what tastes good. Right, Velvet? <sighs> what does that mean? Velvet can't taste anything aside from blood. What? Is that because she's a demon? I'm aware of one other flavor. Mogulu, here's your dose of Solitoma. <laughs> no! Get back here! <laughs> Don't! Keep that salad thing away from me! I see. The sweet taste of another suffering. You're headed to Loringen Tower, too? Just a bit ago, a brawny, silver-haired man asked me how to get there. Did he say why he was going there? Something about meeting some friends of his. Exorcists use that tower to train, right? If he has exorcist friends, then maybe he's one, too. But he seemed a bit rough and tumble to be an exorcist. I can't imagine a man like him. Did he say anything else? He said someone else might stop by and ask about the tower and told me to tell him if they do. Did he mean you? <laughs> no clue. So he was planning on us following him. What's he scheming? You mean Zavid? Or the Abbey? Both. Loringen Tower lies beyond the Burnak Plateau. Blah! If you're gonna set up an obvious trap, couldn't it at least be someplace more convenient?
what's wrong, Lafayette? I was just wondering why Aizen and Zavid can't work together to find Eifried. All men their age care about is their reputation, their street cred. Such a hassle. Oh, really? Well, I can't fully deny it. <sighs> the same could be said of women, and of everyone, really. It's hard to work alongside someone unless you strive to understand their thoughts and feelings. And if you can't? Well, um... It's like Zavid said. You start talking with your fists instead. Sounds harder than I thought. like everyone around me is completely mad. Yeah! Continuing to fight when you know you'll lose just is insane! Would you stand around and watch your comrade die just because you're scared? I wouldn't want to, but getting myself killed wouldn't save anyone either. Yes, it would be illogical to fight. Is being illogical really that bad? Well... At the Empyrean's throne, I remember Velvet standing, despite the horrible pain she felt. Rokuro is training with all his heart in order to defeat his brother Shigure. And Kurogane used up his own head to forge a powerful blade. None of that is very logical. Yeah, I don't know quite how to put it, but I think it's all amazing. <laughs> Aren't you forgetting someone, hmm? Uh, Magi Lu is traveling with us, even though she doesn't care. And that... Yes, go on. I don't really understand what that's about. Uh... Oh, Miss Magi Lu, hang in there! <laughs> <laughs> well, it is amazing in some sense, I suppose. Watch, and I'll show you my Rangetsu style! Woo! It's a biggie!
powerful enemy.
Those rainbows. This is one of the seven wonders of the world, the Burnack Geyser. The water heats up from underground until the pressure forces it to spray up from the surface. And the rainbows are caused by light reflecting from the salt suspended in the mineral water. It took tens of thousands of years for the minerals to accumulate here and form this phenomenon. Wow, wee! That was very educational. At least you know plenty of trivia, if nothing else. Additionally, the groundwater veins that feed this geyser are connected to the sea. Because of this, every now and then a boiled octopus or crab will shoot out from the geyser! No way! That's impossible! Well, not impossible, but with the salt content of the geyser's water, I bet they're seasoned to perfection. Magulo, I'm declaring your bizarre imagination the eighth wonder of the world. People say that all the time. Did you get the medicine to the ship's crew? Yeah! Good. My thanks to you. These soldiers won't be happy in the morning, but they're alive. Is this your work? No. They were like this when I got here. It must have been Zavid. He didn't kill a single one. Interesting. The Abbey is going to great lengths to arrest him. Even so, he clearly knows he's walking into a trap. What I don't get is why he roped me into all of this. If he didn't want my help, then what need did he have to play the Eifried card on me? If you knew this was a trap, why did you come? To see for myself. When I met Eifried, I was wallowing in despair that I would ever find a way to break the Reaper's curse. Stop denying reality, he told me. If you were really born with that curse, then it's a part of you. But if the Reaper learns to grasp the wheel of his life, even he may find his creed, his path through stormy waters. And so, I joined him aboard the Von Eltia. A creed of life. Let's say someone's murdered the captain. If it came as the result of him living life on his terms, I could accept that. Hmm. But if anyone, and I mean anyone, tries to crush his way of life, I could never forgive them. Who's there? It's rude to eavesdrop. If you got secrets, talk about them at home. Zavid, isn't there any way you and Aizen can work together somehow? Not if he's going to keep acting like this. <clears throat> well, that's how it is. What was the point of all that posturing? He could have just stayed hidden. Weirdo! Can't disagree there. Loringen Tower is a training ground for exorcists, right? Yes. It's a great edifice built on ancient ruins. Luffy said, did you ever go there when you were tethered to Teresa? I don't really remember the beginning of my service to Teresa. I see. What sort of training do they do there? Exorcists are tested and assigned Malachim equivalent to their aptitude with mana. It's also where they practice Malak arts and study our laws. So the lower ranks use it as a sparring ground in order to train up to the higher ranks? 
No, an exorcist's affinity to mana is not something that strengthens through training. We are given Malakim based on our inborn ability, then learn arts to suit that ability. So, an orderly is an orderly for life, then? Correct. There'd be no spirit of competition, then. Don't they want to get stronger, to advance through the ranks? There'd be no purpose to advancement. Rank signifies nothing more than the type and number of Malakim one can tether. People join the Abbey for only two reasons. To protect people from demons, and to save the world. Are all of you that dedicated to asceticism? How sickeningly noble of you. I wonder if your wills are suppressed just like those of the Malakim you use. Deviants like you could never possibly understand our motives. In any case, that is who awaits you at Lorengan Tower. So we're in for a rough welcome. I say bring it on. Get it. Get what? Why did Eifried let Aizen join his ship, knowing he carried the Reaper's curse with him? What good did it do? I just don't see the reason behind it. Well, if it were me who had that curse, it would mean that you and Velvet could die because of it, right? Yeah, I suppose so. If that's the case, then I'd feel like I'd both want to and not want to be close to you two. And... I'd probably really, really hate myself for it. Do you suppose that's how Aizen feels? But Eifried still took him in. He agreed they put up with the curse together. It's all a bit hard to fathom. Well, if one thing's for certain, it sounds like Eifried's a very strong man. At least for a base lawless pirate. Better be ready.
Can I ask you about that thing Zavid had? It belonged to Ifri, didn't it? I've read much of the Abbey's archives and weaponry, but I've never seen anything like it. He found it when we crossed to the far continent. It's a relic from a long-vanished civilization. He's like me and can't resist a good treasure. But of everything we've found, that one was his most prized. What is it? I can't say. It seemed like a weapon, but Eifried wouldn't let anyone touch it. He went off and tested it on his own, then came back all grinning, saying he had an ace up his sleeve the next time we got into a fight. Then it's definitely some sort of ancient combat device? But why is Savid looking for Eifried? To apologize for stealing it? He doesn't seem like that much of a gentleman. Did he really steal it? What do you mean? It's just my feeling, but... Zavid doesn't seem like the type of Moloch to steal something so precious. He said he just picked it up. Perhaps he's trying to return it. Perhaps. Yes, it's time to fight! Deception! <laughs> If I'm in this, I'm in this 100%. I'll finish this quick. <laughs> Style is really 
fighting the Reaper. Scout ship setting sail.
keep up, or I'll leave you behind. Move it or die. Sorry to cut you down. You're fighting the Reaper. Thank <laughs> you.